my Sagittarius friends. It is Elsie from Ten of Cups Tarot. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for clicking here. If you are brand new, I hope that you will uh, take the time to subscribe, to give a thumbs up to one of my videos if you enjoy the content, and to share with one of your friends. That's the only way that I can keep building this community and continue to give you free readings. If you are someone who is here to see your Sagittarius reading like you do every month, thank you for dropping in. I really do appreciate you. Thank you for being patient with uh, the late readings this month. There has been a lot going on in my private life and I'm doing my best to keep my head above water. So um, I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Uh, we are going to first start off with uh, the Super Attractor deck and we are going to get you some information about what you could be or should be attracting at this time for your highest good. So for the highest good of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. By the way, I am a Saggy Rising. If you want to know, um, if you uh, want to know your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, uh, you can go to my page, my About page up at the top, and go down to the bottom. You'll see there's a link there. Click on that link for Sun, Moon, Rising. It'll take you to a place where you can plunk in some info. All right. We just need one of these super attractor cards. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What should, what should or will Sagittarius be attracting, please? Super attractor cards. We have I left an inner sense of I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in love of the universe. So. Um, when you do strengthen your love of the universe, that means connecting, meditating, manifesting, um, that you let your inner sense of quiet multiply. So when you go into meditation, it is so quiet there, you guys. If you can get into a really good, deep meditation, I use meta meditation. And if you can get into a really good quiet meditation once you come out of that meditation it almost feels like you've been on vacation you feel so rested all right so now i have have a new deck here well by the way the super attractor deck is new as well but i do also have a new oracle deck and this one here is the oracle of the fairies it is a beautiful deck so i'm going to get one more card here for the overall energy for you sagittarius Sun, rising venus and jupiter until the end of july 20. Now, I do put dates on these readings, you guys, but you do know that um, time is fluid and not linear. So this could happen, you know, a week from now, a month from now, six months from now. In fact, there could be things on the site uh, today that will ring true for you. So um, if you want to take a look around the site, you might want to do that today. All right. So let's get two cards here. Oh, they flew out right away just by request here. Here we go. So we have for you transformation. Look how gorgeous she is. Beautiful card. She's so cute. Okay. Um, transformation. This uh, fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. I am hearing in my head as I say this that sometimes a breakthrough looks like a breakdown. So somebody needed to hear that today, Sagittarius. Sometimes a breakthrough looks like a breakdown. And when you're going through a transformation, sometimes it is that tough. It is it is that tough depending on where you're coming from and where you're going to. Once again, this fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. It really is happening for your highest good. I promise you that. Sometimes transformation can be painful. Look at that card. These are so beautiful. And uh, it says, pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. It doesn't say for the highest good of you. It says for the highest good of all. All right. We have here the light, light Seer Tarot, and I am using this Light Seer Tarot to do your main reading today. Then we are going to go in and clarify with the um, 
the Celtic, the Universal Celtic, uh, which is one of my favorite clarifying decks. So we will uh, start here. I've already prayed over these cards, so I'm just going to ask for Archangel Michael, Archangel Shamuel for understanding and for guidance. If I could have my angels and guides present, please. And um, what we are looking for today is for the highest good of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please tell us what you want Sagittarius to know for their highest good today, please. All right. All right, let's go into nine cards here. I'm going to ask for nine cards. We're going to look at those and then we're going to clarify them. Nine cards, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have for the sign of Sagittarius today. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Eight cards, please. Eight more cards. Whew. And I did drop one, of course. I was doing private readings earlier today, throwing them everywhere. Okay, so we have the um, Page of Pentacles in reverse. We have the King of Cups in the upright, Seven of Wands in the upright, We've got the Two of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, two more cards please, there goes another off the table. We have the Four of Wands. I'm going to use this one. It fell out first. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. And I've got some boxed cards, so let me turn those over. At the bottom of the deck we have... Hmm, Four of Cups. So the Sagittarius I'm speaking to is maybe a little bit bored. Maybe not necessarily... Um, paying attention to what's coming, right? Not really knowing what you want, so not really paying attention to what's coming down here in this bowl. She looks sort of despondent, looking out into the future, not really, you know, she kind of is daydreaming. She doesn't look happy, doesn't look sad. She's just sort of bored. Uh, she has all this emotion here that's been poured out on the side here, and she's got a full bowl right there. She looks like she's ready to reach for it, but she could very well pour it out by accident. So I feel like somebody is... Um, probably looking for some something to be passionate about bottom of the deck so um yeah it's uh, not not a very happy time but not necessarily a sad time sagittarius all right let's take a look here so what uh, what this is is uh, past present future it can also be read like this past present future i like to read all the way around and clarify so you get as much information as possible um, what I'd like to do is start at the heart of the matter, and this is the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups is love in the tarot. So it is intended love for you, and uh, it is emotional love, so deeply emotional, romantic love. And um, everything that's going on in this reading is actually around that, is, is kind of moving around the fact that either you are in love or you want to be in love. Let's take a look a little closer here. So we have uh, in the past energy, Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles in reverse, and the King of Cups. Um, I feel as though you weren't getting enough reciprocity in your past relationship. So you broke away from that. And that you know, I, I do see um, the card, the Six of Pentacles here, but then I see the Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. And the Page of Pentacles is someone who's younger than you. So it could have been a relationship where you were younger than them or they were younger than you. Um, but you weren't getting the kind of reciprocity you wanted from this relationship. You know, <laughs> I, I'm seeing um, in my mind's eye, I see that uh, um, there is... Um, someone who is disappointed because they didn't even get a card for Valentine's Day. You know, that this this sort of thing was going on in this relationship where there wasn't much uh, back and forth here. It seemed like you were the one giving all the time Sagittarius and that other person was the one taking. And, um, you know, this Page of Pentacles is someone who just is so young in... in um, 
knowing what to do in a romantic situation, you know, should they bring a gift, you know, that kind of thing. They're just not very versed in how this whole thing goes. Um, giving a gift in the 3D, you know, something you, that's tangible. They're just not either not paying attention to or um, just not uh, interested in... Um, they weren't interested in pouring their emotion out onto you. So I have the Six of Pentacles here, which tells me that they were kind of cheap too. You know, they didn't really, they didn't really, they don't really think forward. They didn't really think forward to any, any, uh, you know, relationship milestones that were coming up, that kind of thing. And so, you know, you, you gave and gave and gave, and they really didn't, you gave here and they gave nothing. So you were ready to be, you know, into the reciprocity with them, but they just kept it to themselves. Um, this person could have been a king uh, of cups. They could be someone who is a water sign. Of course, these are both uh, earth signs, right? So Virgo, uh, Taurus, Capricorn. But the king of cups is uh, someone who is a um, either a, a Pisces, Cancer, or... Um, a Scorpio. So um, you could have been in a relationship with someone who is a water sign or um, maybe you wanted to be in a relationship with someone who is a water sign and that person was not being reciprocal. In fact, they were not only not being reciprocal, but they were specifically and purposefully, you know, not paying attention to um, relationship milestones, not paying relation, not paying any attention to, you know, taking you out. Um, you know, so it was just uh, you giving and them taking and that was it. And, and you decided, I think, that it was time to get out of that, that circle of um, sort of toxic, toxic kind of thinking. So we take you here to the, to the current um, energy here. And what I see here is the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is, that is, um, you know, firepower, as I call it. Um, so that is Aries... Um, Sagittarius or Leo and the it is all about passionate actions right so people taking actions you know against you you rising above it all here being Zen like you are and um, or like you can be um, but these are all things you know people are pointing at you and, and you know saying things about you or taking actions against you and it's regarding love so I feel like um, that this here that that um, that went awry. I think that there might have been people, friends, family, that kind of thing that were very close to this relationship. And um, when it broke up, they got very defensive about that and just wanted you to uh, repair and rebuild uh, this relationship with that person. Um, I think that at some point you had thought about maybe taking on a different relationship. I don't think, I think that you were really very bored in the current relationship and there was no passion there. So I think you went looking for another relationship. And uh, what I see here, that there is love at the heart of the matter, um, but very defensive in love and rebuilding. So I don't know, necessarily know that you're ready at this point for a new relationship just yet, Sachi. Um, I think that you were kind of, you know, caught off guard here by giving and giving and not getting anything in return. And then, um, you know, we do have fire, uh, um, fire, water, and uh, grounded energy. So you really... Um, you really became defensive in love and, um, you know, you're thinking that it might be time to rebuild again, but with someone different. However, I think that you're still feeling the defensive, being defensive in love and, and you know, do you really want to be bored again? Do you want to be bored in that relationship? Um, or in any other for that matter. Um, I see in the future here, then we have you as waiting just a little bit, but planting the seeds of intention, you know, planting the seeds of intention for love. So you could be, you know, speaking to people online. You could be, you know, having small meetings and maybe you've met somebody and maybe you guys exchanged phone numbers, maybe you're texting, that kind of thing. So you're planting the seeds of intention towards, you know, hoping to reach towards a, um, a solid foundational relationship that you may be able to grow, but you're going to take it really slow, Sag. I think that um, sometimes you're a little bit um, on the spur of the moment, and sometimes you'll tend to jump in feet first, and uh, then afterwards, when it doesn't work out, you're like, ah, maybe I should have waited on that. Maybe I shouldn't have, you know, um, 
uh, jumped off the edge so quick, but I think this time you're going to go slower. You know, it's the it's the Knight of Pentacles, which is slow moving Earth energy, and uh, you can bet your bottom dollar that that is going to take you some some time before you see anything in terms of a relationship that's going to have a solid foundation of any kind. So take your breath, Sag. You don't necessarily have to jump from relationship to relationship. And I see this a lot. There are so many people that come to me that are in a relationship asking about a person and getting into another relationship. Well, you guys, the thing is this, is that you're not healing between relationships. All you're doing is taking this baggage to that relationship, to that relationship. You know, you're just carrying your baggage around. You don't have time to purge it. You don't have time to heal. And so if that's what you're going to do, just, you know, be in this relationship and then spy another one and then spy another one and keep jumping, it's, you're never going to heal. And it's just going to keep in that same... Um, in that same uh, whirlwind of toxic energy that you're you're wondering why your relationships don't go very well and it might be because you're not waiting enough time between you're not um, you're not getting strong you're not rebuilding yourself you're not being kind to yourself some people can't seem to breathe without a partner but it's time at times it is required for you to breathe without a partner okay so let's look at it this way a little bit here so we look at the reciprocity here and it's defense in the reciprocity so I think you got tired of not so Someone not putting in as much as you were putting in you got defensive and decided that you were going to um, then plant the seeds of intention somewhere else I don't blame you to be honest um, we have the page of Pentacles in the reverse here saying you weren't getting much out of this relationship at all so you decided to go find love and find um, your four of wands maybe a stable relationship that might be able to uh, turn into uh, marriage or work toward marriage so i do show the king of cups here now i have a feeling that the king of cups might have been the one uh, <coughs> excuse me that was not showing reciprocity so you went off and you're wanting to build maybe something with a um an earth sign perhaps Virgo Taurus Capricorn um, but for sure you're going to be waiting some time because this is really slow moving energy so let's go uh, do a little bit of clarifying here um, let's ask for clarification please starting with the six of pentacles why is the six of pentacles here please six of pentacles Six of Pentacles, <laughs> being clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So reciprocity was really important to you, and you weren't getting it, Sagittarius. So um, you weren't getting that thing with the um, page of uh, Pentacles in the reverse. Why is the Six of Pentacles here, please? Six of Pentacles. What is the Six of Pentacles, please? Six of Pentacles. Pentacles, please. There we go. The Six of Pentacles is here because of the chariot. Okay, so I have a feeling that it was about a cancer. So you were not getting reciprocity from a cancer. Things are moving really fast and you're like, wait a second, I'm not getting any reciprocity here. I'm the one putting in all the work. Why would I stay? Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse, please? There also could have been a significant age difference between the two of you. Um, that could have been part of the problem as well. Um, we have the Knight of Swords. So it was kind of a surprise to you because when you... Um when you got into the relationship with um, the water sign, you thought for sure that this was going to be the person who was going to make you happy, but um, it, it just didn't happen. And it kind of surprised you that this person that you thought was so good with reciprocity actually turned into someone who was quite relationship lazy, um, that they weren't, you know, they were willing to take but not willing to give. Is there anything else for the Page of Pentacles in reverse, please? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse is justice. So um, Page of Pentacles in reverse, you just had to hightail it out of there. You needed your justice. You needed things to be come back into um, back into balance. You could have been hightailing it out of there to see a Libra. That's what that's what the justice card is about. It's it's the card of Libra. Um, why is the King of Cups here, please? King of Cups, 
King of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So this person had money. They had, um, they were financially stable and um, they were someone who um, at the very beginning might have spent money on you, took you places, gave you things, and then that started to die off really quick. Um, why else is the king here? Please, the king. King of Cups. King of Cups is the Nine of Wands. Yeah, then things started to get kind of defensive when it came to money in the relationship. It got a little weird. Um, that person didn't want to talk about money. You were trying to get your balance and your footing in the relationship with this person, but it just wasn't happening for you. And then you got, you know, things started to get defensive and, and probably fell apart here. Why is the Seven of Wands here, please? The Seven of Wands is here because the Five of Cups is in reverse. You didn't really want to leave the situation, but the Emperor was on his head. So, um, you know, the, the energy that was in the relationship was lots of bickering, anger, name-calling, abusive language, and it was time for you to get out of Dodge. So you, you got defensive, of course, and then it was time for you to hightail it out of there because you weren't being treated very well, Sagittarius. So why is the Two of Cups here then, please? Two of Cups, please. Okay, we've got the Two of Cups. We've got the Two of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Cups. So it is your wishes fulfilled to be in love, to have love. Uh, the Six of Cups is here, but you were thinking about a soulmate. You knew this person was not your soulmate. And you were looking at someone who maybe was from the past um, or hoping that someone from a last life or last, you know, uh, someone you grew up with might, might be a person who is someone that you may be might enjoy but then you keep talking yourself out of it though you keep talking yourself out of making contact with that person um but you really want to build with them they seem like a, a good match for you and you want to see if they're single and they want to build with you so what's the three of pentacles here for please too many what's the three of pentacles here for what is the three of pentacles here please Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so you want to build love. You want to start a new, um, you know, new emotional um, journey with this person. You'd like to build into an emotional journey with them. Um, anything else here? Oops. We've got uh, the Knight of Pentacles. So again, the Knight of Pentacles, you want to move slow on it. Um, you want to make sure that there is some love here, so there's some sort of romance and emotion. Um, even if it is brand new, it's better than not having any at all. And this person, I think that you know this person from the past because you know that they're, they're someone who um, is really good at uh, not only reciprocity, but remembering, um, remembering uh, you know, milestones of 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 a relationship and you know they're really good with gift giving you give them they give you so um they're also really smart um they uh love to talk you guys have great conversation and um you're looking forward to contacting them and having something new with them at least starting with new conversation and working forward why is the seven of pentacles here please seven of pentacles Seven of Pentacles is here because you have decided to close a chapter. So you have you have um, um, sown the seeds of intention of the next relationship, and you've closed the last relationship. And now you wait. You wait, and uh, you wait for the seeds that you have sown. And why is the Four of Wands here, please? The Four of Wands. No, that's too many. It's kind of a little book there. Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here, please? That's better. Four of Wands is here because of the Eight of Cups. You walked away from whatever didn't serve you here, and it's time for you to find a new relationship, or at least a new solid foundation. Um, maybe with someone who is a water sign. So we now have the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups is someone who is Scorpio, um, Pisces, or Cancer. She's very intuitive. She's, in fact, highly intuitive. She is someone who's very deep, loves to talk, uh, loves to get to 
the underneath stuff, not doesn't doesn't really care for surface conversation. And this person uh, that has the Queen of Cups energy is someone that you're highly attracted to. So yeah, you know this person that you would like to come forward for you. Um, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. You're wondering if she still has her business. Um, she or he, you're wondering if they're um, in still into their business and um, perhaps you can get some, some help with... Um, for what you want to do in your life, you like to talk about business. And so um, you're hoping that that person is still in business. Now, the Queen of Wands, when she's in the reverse as well, is, you know, a little bit hard to deal with. She's a little bit selfish. She's not really sharing of much. Um, and when I look at it with the devil um, energy, devil casts fear, right? Oops. So the devil casts fear. Um, devil was in the upright. She was in the reverse. Um, the devil casts fear. The devil makes you feel like you're sort of compelled to stay with that person. Um, and, uh, you know, when the when the Queen of Wands is on her hair, head, she's not very compliant here. Not really compliant. I think that's what you like about this person, though. I think you like that they're a bit of a rebel, that people kind of listen to them when they're um, being tough. I think, you, pardon me, that you really like that sort of... Um, like that kind of um, strength in a person. And then we have, uh, clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, we have the um, Four of Wands in the reverse. So, um, you know, it's it's almost like if this person doesn't get to you soon, you don't necessarily know that you want to start a relationship. The Five of Swords is here, not necessarily willing to fight for it. You're not really wanting to wait that long. But you know what? The thing is, is that when you want something, sometimes you just got to wait. Yeah, you you kind of want, you've, you've manifested this person, the magician. You really want to do the right thing. You want to have a good relationship with them. Um, you want to maybe take it to the next level, take it to marriage, maybe move. Um, at least go from the chaos to the calm and then four of pentacles is about um, you know this this particular four of pentacles card is not necessarily about feeling defensive it's about feelings it's about feeling and knowing that something is there that you can't see so um, this is you know you having hope for um, a new relationship and uh, maybe taking it to the next level, but please slow it down. I know that your firepower, <laughs> slow it down, Sagittarius. You know, you don't want to go too, too fast. You know, you're still in the middle of transformation. You do have a pure intent, but just remember that, um, you know, it's the strengthening of your faith is what you need uh, and love for the universe first before you move forward. All right, let's see if there's any other advice for Sagittarius. Oh, look at that. Accept disappointment gracefully. So this may not be the time to start a relationship. If if it is, you know, disappointing, maybe it's time um, for you to carry on to something new, maybe taking care of yourself. Make no judgments. That person may not be your person. They may not be ready for you. Um, go with the flow. And sometimes that is the best way. Let the universe tell you what the intent is and um, when you get those suggestions from the universe follow through with them um, because the universe knows you better than you know yourself all right that's all i have for you i hope that was uh resonating with someone if it did please let me know by placing a comment down below thank you so much for coming here um, i am open for personal readings if you would like one uh, you can contact elsie at tenacupstarot.ca or go to my website it is www.tenacupstarot.ca all right Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.